This is Gloria from Golden Bucket Farm. I'm the Jersey Lady One here on YouTube. And today I've come to talk to you about the Canvas workspace, specifically the offline or PC version. Canvas workspace is um, design software that is provided by Brother. Hmm, do I not quite have that in the, there we go. Let's go down a little bit here. There we go. Um, it's provided by Brother, the maker of Scan and Cut, uh, to use with its machines. And if you, it's all free, okay, and not just a trial version, it's the whole software, both, both online and offline, as, uh, with no cost. And um, if you are not using any software with your Scan and Cut, Wow, you are really missing out on a lot of fun and also a lot of potential. Um, there's there's just so much um, what what do you want? Uh, creative possibilities when you use uh, software, and really a lot of satisfaction too to think that you designed your own and it's. Not really hard at all. Okay, so where you go is, I have to move this a little bit. Uh, Canvas Workspace dot brother dot com. And I'll put that in the description box if you've never gone there before. Okay, and it's even if you don't have a scan and cut, it's really fun to work with this and. You can make um, SVG files um, that, you know, you don't need a scan and cut to use those. So, okay, those are just like other ones that SVG files that you per maybe purchase online. You can make your own. Okay, so this is the site that you come to. And if you've never been there before, they ask you to register. Um, again, it's... There's no, you don't need a credit card or anything. It's just click, click, click. And um, that's how you get your login name and your password. And once you have that, you can log in. Oh, just a minute. Before we do that, I need to go down here. Um, this is the portal to the cloud version or the online version and they are a little different and there are a couple features that I really like especially on the PC version or the offline version okay so if you scroll down and you'll come to this where it says canvas workspace for PC and um, we will see that this one looks different from the other uh, online version okay but if you go just past that a little bit there you go down here download software and that's what you click and it's easy you don't have to be very savvy to do that just follow along um, the directions on your screen and um, then you will have uh, a software design package that you can use without being online which is really handy and like I say they have some different features so um, I use both of them okay once you log in you'll come to this section of the site and here are and if we would scroll down the projects just keep coming and keep coming and keep coming these are um, project files that have cut files in them that you can make things as shown or um, you might say well I don't want to make an advent calendar or a cake stencil yeah but you can use the cut files to make other things and here's an example one of them is a coffee tray and I have never made a coffee tray and I don't think I do I don't drink coffee so I don't have a need for a coffee tray but um, I really like this pattern of the stencil 
And of course, I, I don't have to use it as a stencil. I can use, use this cut file to cut pattern paper or cut cardstock. Okay, so I can use, I could use that um, pattern um, on the top of a box. I make, I like to make boxes. Let me get a hold of this out here. I like to make, um, I really love constructing boxes of all shapes and sizes. And so I could take um, one of my boxes and put that design on the top or on the cover of one of my journals or even on uh, size that and use it as the background of a, a card face. Okay. And besides, I just love this little uh, cup. So here's what, if you click, oh, let me go back here. You can, you will get a video. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> Breakfast is calling here. Uh, you get a video of the project on YouTube. You get a recipe PDF that shows with photos um, how to do it and all the materials that you need or the pieces, uh, yeah, what you need to cut and how to do it and everything. Um, you can also download all the parts onto your PC or onto a, a jump drive or a little um, USB stick. Um, if you don't, or you can send it to your, if you have one of the newer scanning cuts, you can send it wirelessly or with a cable um, right to your machine so that you can cut. And over here, um, it shows a way that you can put it right now without doing any of these things. You can go and put it onto a work mat and begin working and editing so here I have um, this, these cut files on the work mat, and I can uh, change the size of them. I can cut them apart. So for instance, maybe I just want to make use of the hearts that I see in this project, okay? Or maybe I just want to use, I want to cut out these flourishes and use those. I can take this cut file and divide it and um, use those parts and make a totally new project by resizing or even reshaping or re um, manipulating them Okay, in the software. Um, what I really liked about this was this darling little cup and saucer Okay, which you could make big enough uh, again to be maybe on the front of a card or a, um, a sign for the beverage area, <laughs> um, your little coffee station or whatever drink station that you have um, in your family room or your kitchen, or maybe you want to make them really tiny and um, use them as embellishments on projects. So every time new projects come out, I go and check those out okay, and see how they, you know, how I might use those. Okay, so that's all from the online um, site at um, canva, canvasworkspace.brother.com. All right, now I'm going to switch over. So I'll turn this off. Leave, yes. Okay. Oh, I also, all the projects that you make you can um, save and then you can bring them up again. Okay, you don't have to say, you can save them online. You can save them right there. Okay, if you don't want to put them onto your machine right away or you don't want to put them onto a, a USB stick. Okay, so we're going to leave this and I will go to my scan and cut file that I have over here and bring up. Canvas workspace. There we go. So it will look like that. This is now the downloadable version that's going to go on your computer. And we'll change this a little bit. Okay.
There we go. Okay. And the first thing that will come up again is the picture of the projects, just like on the other one. I really think you can work with any, I'm not sure if, seems like when I clicked on Disney, you had to go online to use that one, but I'll have to double check on that. But um, the, you can use the pattern collections or any of these patterns or your own patterns, or you can just start from scratch. Okay. So um, this is what you will see. You can get rid of this off to the side for a little bit. Make your and you can change the size of your mat and everything. As you see, this looks a little different from the uh, view you know that you have on the other uh, online version. They're a lot alike. The functions work alike, but there are a couple things uh, different that I really like. Um, first of all, you have your your um, basic shapes to work with. Okay, that's just like normal. Um, you have borders, lots of those, and you say, well, I don't use borders, but you can cut apart, like here, you could cut apart bows, the bows, or the bells, or the holly, or maybe you just want the bat, or you just want the pumpkin out of those you can cut those apart um, um, in the software. Oh, <laughs> they're already giving us one here. Let's get rid of that. I didn't mean to make that. Okay, let's delete that. But anyway, that shows how it just pops up on your screen. Okay, and you can also get ready-made logos. They call them. Okay, to choose from. But and there are a lot of them already done but you can make your own too the best thing about this version is that any font that you have on your computer okay through your word processing or whatever you can use that to um make uh sentiments okay so wowza that is really, that is re really opens up the horizons of your creativity. You don't have to buy anything. So for instance, I might choose um, comic here and I can type in, oh, let's say joy. Okay, and I will click on it. Ah, come on. There we go. Come on. What is your problem? There we go. And we'll make it big. Okay. And we'll put some color in it. Just so that you can see it. Okay. Say okay. And um, I can cut out these letters as they are. I can make them bold or regular or italics, but I'm going to leave them. But up here in this corner, the last thing in the text view um, is, what is it called? Character spacing. Okay, And I can use that to um, make my sentiment into one piece. So it cuts all together. And I, I don't have to work with just individual letters. And so by tapping this, just one tap at a time, I can overlap my letters so that they will weld. Now I've got the O and the Y pretty much where I want them. Let's see here, get that. Uh, but my J is still over here a ways, and if I continue tapping, my Y is gonna co come over my O too much before I get it to touch so that I can weld, um, you know, that this space is going to, oh, I don't know. 
I lost my train of thought there. I'll start again. Um, sometimes you have to work with just one letter uh, to maneuver it where you want. And so I'm going to go up here to edit and to uh, process overlap and say divide and now this will make each letter I can use it by itself okay so I'm going to tap and that takes off the collection part of making this all one piece and I can pick just this one letter and I'm not going to move it anywhere but just using the arrow keys on my keyboard and so I'm going to hit the right arrow just keep tapping and the J will move over and you can do this with any of your letters okay so now it is overlapping with the O and I like how that looks so I'm gonna tap off and I'm gonna make a whole highlight the whole thing so I'm working with all the letters I'll go back to my edit and Go back to the process overlap. Oops. Come on. And I will say weld. And now this is connected so that when I send this to my machine, um, I will have this one piece cut out. It's just that easy. So that's that's the the best thing um, you can do that on the online version but I think it's made it's more straightforward and um, and also you get what is there maybe 20 fonts on the online version or offline yeah online version but on the offline anything that you have in your word processor or anything any other fonts that you have on your computer or anything that you've bought and downloaded to your computer, they are available for you to use in the Canvas workspace and you can make your sentiments or you know your words or your phrases for cutting vinyl or you know making uh, sentiments for your cards or other projects. So um, that's just the best thing. There are lots of other features here um, I just wanted to highlight this one right now and um, kind of whet your appetite for using design software with your Scan and Cut if you're only using it to um, cut out uh, stamped images or something like this. Wowza! Are you missing out, out on a lot of fun and potential and creativity. So. Um, hop on YouTube and look for, I mean, there are just so many, many, many uh, people who have put up videos on how to use both the online version and the offline version. Uh, just really expands the uh, fun and creativity that you can have by designing your own projects. And it's free. <laughs> okay. Take care, um, God bless, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.